Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a preset change using MIDI in the Reaper. Um, so basically, let's begin. So here I have opened my Pod Go editor to show you the changes, and then here I have my. So all you need to do is first you need to open a new track. You may be wondering what I have here. It is basically a instruction I created and it is actually the I got it from the pod uh, goes manual and here it says factory 32 CC 32 and value 000. zero, zero user 02 and value 001 all that kind of stuff I will explain this later on so this will be available to download for you on the description if you reach out so far so here I have this and in terms of MIDI uh, sending to the podgo you don't really need anything because the podgo itself supports MIDI uh, output right input and output both so just let's check in the preference in the ripper uh, if you see here you don't need to really do anything in the uh, input section because um, see it's not even enabled and then in the pod go here all I have done is enable the output to this device okay you can directly left click and do it from here as well so that's it there in the preference that all you need to do is that and then here let's just say preset change you need a plugin called rea control rea control so basically this looks like this and here you need to enable this funny thing about this after setting up everything if you d uh, remove the plugins it still works it worked um, but without putting this one in the first place it doesn't work I don't know why alright so let's see I enabled bank select I enabled control change and then all you need to do is insert a media item so go to the insert new media item press control and alt so you can stretch and make it bigger so you know imagine you have a song here you have your song and you wanna change the preset for you uh, depending on the song part so now you did that but now let's send the MIDI from this channel from this channel in the mixer here to the pod okay so you just go to the route left click and here it says MIDI right now it's at none so just select pod go all maybe you can also say one but I did all so anyway so here inside you already see uh, this thing but okay let me let me delete everything so you could actually normally it's in velocity you know uh, velocity for your MIDI item like that it's in the velocity but we are using this piano roll for changing the preset so just go here and then choose bank slash program select you choose that one okay so this one you can just keep it that way there now um, So anywhere, uh, depending on your song, see, for example, let's say I want to change here a uh, patch, okay? So that is basically, I just double click and I will it will bring this one, okay? So here you have MSB, LSB and blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you, the chart I made 
uh, remember this LSB here this is actually for your factory and your um, user thing and then this one is basically your preset number okay remember this LSB MSB you don't need to do anything just the LSB now let me just show you quickly so this is basically LSB so so LSB itself at the MIDI CC 32 you know so it is inside the bank slash program select you know when you go inside the one I showed you um, that area where it says LSB it is actually 32 C so that's the value and then here LSB 000 is for factory banks and 01 is for your user banks okay now here's the, the steps also I have um, written steps step one enable all the things in the MIDI in the Reaper right MIDI setting in the Reaper so I just showed you what we just did and second inside the piano roll select the bank slash uh, yes select the, it's called lane so select the lane called bank slash program select so LSB is zero for the factory and LSB one is for user in both libraries zero is the patch one I said there and then here later on we come here for the snapshot setting okay so basically I wanted to do this so I would also remember by myself because I keep on forgetting and trying to watch a thousand videos in the YouTube so okay so here let's make a change in the one two second bar so I just double click here and what I want here in the first in the beginning uh, is if you see this one uh, the moment I it goes away so what I want is is clean channel which is the placer or this is placater uh, clean okay so where is this first it is on the user all right so user is play uh, user is zero one just write one because zero is for the factory okay so for factory is uh, zero for user is one now you count your preset number so this is zero so preset one is zero 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 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so the program number eighteen that's it you got that now at this point I want to change to the lead channel or crunch channel let's say so it's one because it's in for me it's in the same patch but for you if your lead tone is in the uh, factory uh, bank you can type zero here but for me it's still in the same user uh, bank so I'm one and my solo is what let's check once again so this is 16 um, yeah, sorry this is 18 now 17 is my solo okay so bec because it's one behind say here 17 now let's see if it works um, I'm gonna try to bring this here all right so let's see if it changes right now so it was in the same place before so here it's supposed to change to the lead channel so it went to the lead channel you see so right now it's in the lead channel 
now if I just play from here when it reaches this uh, orange line it need to go to the clean see it went to the clean now so next step is let's say for example I want to fiddle with the snapshot also you can see the snapshot symbol here right so what did I say for the snapshot so what they say for the snapshot I mean so if I just bring it this so look for the snapshot add lane 69 so because see it says MIDI CC 69 so we need an extra lane for 69 and in the Reaper it is known as 69 hold two pedal okay and where zero is a snapshot one and snap and then you know count accordingly like what snapshot you mean so let's add the 69 so me uh, MIDI CC 69 so all you need to do is right now we have a bank slash program select lane so l just press the button here plus now here we are presented automatically it says text event just click here now if you see all those after 22 23 to 54 we have more option then if you go here 55 to 86 inside our 69 is here see 69 so basically it's the CC 69 hold two pedal uh, on or off so just keep that one so now this is my um, this is my lead tone and right now lead tone is in the snapshot one okay let's say I want snapshot two so basically what you do is you just add here like that so this box look it changes the number there three four five so zero is snapshot one so I want snapshot two three okay so it says two but our snapshot is three so let's say in I, I want like a little bit here so once uh, it changes to lead then it changes the snapshot okay so let's check if it works um, so let it go here we are in the clean there you go lead and look at here snapshot three supposed to come there we go oh uh, yeah anyway give me snapshot two uh, but uh, you can find the snapshot number accordingly so that's how you do it yeah um, really I'm happy because I did this because it's for me also it is it is for the reminder so hope uh, it will be useful for you and I'm gonna upload the instructions as well uh, as I made them you can find that in the description thank you for watching